Hey guys, yeah, welcome to um, another tutorial on linear algebra using Maple. And uh, I want to find the determinant and uh, the inverse of my matrix um, using a stepwise solution solution method. So um, yeah, so what I'm going to start off doing is uh, I'll load my package that I need to use. So with with the student package. Right. So uh, one thing is um, if you don't put the colon there uh, after this, uh, it will show you all that lot. But then if you put the colon, it takes it off. Right. So it's your choice anyway. So it, it doesn't make any difference. But I just prefer it like that. You know, I prefer it like that. It's just easier. Right. And then um, so I've got my matrix. I'm going to call it matrix A. So I'm just going to paste it. So that's my matrix. And uh, it's always good to assign a variable. To, to your matrices, whatever you're gonna do and stuff. It's just easier for you to call, to call on them when you're performing functions on them, right? So um, I'm gonna start off finding the determinant, just the normal way. We just type in the code, then it calculates it. Minus 126. So since the determinant is not zero, therefore an inverse does exist, right? So I'm gonna um, calculate my inverse, so matrix, inverse with matrix A. Right, so here's our, um, our lovely matrix inverse, you know, all fractions, right? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the met uh, the stepwise solution method for both both functions, the determinant and matrix inverse. So I'll start off with the determinant, but I'm going to use um, the Gauss elimination way. So Gauss, Gaussian elimination tutor. Right, pop up comes up here, so I'll show you what's going on. Right, so um, the next step, so this box will show you what's going on, it will correspond to what's going on in this bigger box. Right, then the next step again, and so forth. You keep doing that until you get to the final solution, so all steps. Right, so now that's um, that's created my um, upper triangle matrix. The determinant will be the product of this diagonal here. So 21 times 6 times minus 1, which will be, as we can see, minus 126 over here, right? So yeah, so that's um, performing two things. You perform an upper triangular calculation, and then also you find your determinant. So two things in one. Hey, presto. OK, and then now I need to find by uh, inverse. So inverse to uh, pop up comes up again. Okay, so that's the matrix in question. That's my matrix A. Yeah, and then that's my um, identity matrix. Then I need to do some um, uh, calculations in there. So my next step. It tells you what's going on. And the next step again, you keep pressing next step and it keeps telling you, keep pressing next step and then it keeps telling you what's going on in this little box as well. So you get the gist, right? And so forth, right? So then that's the next, um, then I'll click on all steps. And uh, here we are. So that's the inverse. That's the inverse there. That's the inverse. And that's your identity matrix anyway. So. That's just um, equivalent to one in the matrix world, okay? So, so that product, product of these two will just get you this. So essentially, like you say, one times two is always going to be two, or one times three is three, that sort of thing, okay? So yeah, so hopefully that uh, makes sense. And um, on a side note, when you type in the hash key and then your message, Maple doesn't read the code. So hopefully that was helpful. Have a great day. Right, so yeah, hopefully that was helpful. So any comments, just hit me up in the comments below. So thank you guys and have a fantastic day. Cool.